to it. Let's not waste any time. Cody Rhodes, tour bus caught on fire. A severe fire broke out on Cody Rhodes' tour bus. And we are very concerned right now. But Cody Rhodes, and this is breaking news, and you can only get this is the breaking news from Don Juan Banks. Inside the ropes, Cody Rhodes has revealed his tour bus legit caught on fire with everything going on with WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes' story would have not been finished. The incident was severe, but could have been so much worse. An initial post from the American Nightmare on social media, the attention caught the fans when he thanked Philadelphia Fire Department. The Philadelphia Fire Department had to arrive immediately when Cody Rhodes was on the bus at the time the fire broke out. Cody Rhodes was shaken and understandably concerned as everything that he had on the bus was at risk. Rhodes provided more context with all the interviews all the appearances, everything that he has to do, has to do. Rhodes was wondering, would his father, Dusty Rhodes, help him to finish this story? Adding he grabbed only two items as he ran off the bus as the fire almost burnt him alive. Before you hear it elsewhere, I want to tell you first. He says, before you even hear it from Sean Views. See, this is how much they hate this guy. You know, I'm not even going to go into this guy is a turd. And y'all sitting up there supporting a guy who's a pedophile. My tour bus caught on fire last night. Everybody is safe. And okay, the two items I grabbed before I got off the bus will probably pop wrestling fans again. Thank you so much, Philadelphia Fire Department, for allowing me to finish my story at WrestleMania night, too. So Cody Rose is even, see, Cody Rose is a real guy. This one, I knew he wasn't a crybaby anymore. He's even coming out and telling you that he's going to finish this story. So Rock better change the storyline. Later, appearing at the on the Pat McAfee show, not the Sean View show, Pat McAfee, the WWE chose Pat McAfee. They didn't show, chose Sean View's entertainment. He's a washed up bum. He has to stay in the house all diddy day long. Rhodes recalled the events that took place and described the dangerous situation that could have caught the whole bus on fire, killing him. He only could grab two items last night, laying in bed, just getting out of SmackDown and all of my appearances, 1 a.m., going to sleep. All of a sudden, bang, a loud side at my tour bus. Thought it was a gunshot. Thought that the niggas out in the street, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm playing. Thought these niggas out in the street were shooting at Cody Rhodes. No, no, no. Cody is not involved in any type of gang violence. Thought it was a gunshot. Terrified, clammed up. Next thing I know, my bus driver yells, get off of the bus now, Cody. My bus, it didn't burn to a crisp, but it, it, it turned into a big fireball moment. The reason I share this story is I'm trying to finish my story. I'm here this morning, not flinching. I grabbed two things off my bus. I thought, this is it. This is my end. I'm not going to make it to WrestleMania. I'm not going to finish the story. I grabbed to a picture of my daughter and my wife and I ran off of the bus with so much speed. WrestleMania is ready for me. Nothing will stop me. Cody Rose say, I will finish this story. I'm telling all my fans, I'm finishing this story on night two of WrestleMania. I don't care if I got to have Undertaker. I don't care if I have to have Austin. I don't care if I have to have John Cena. He doesn't care if he has to bring Dustin Rose, Gold Dust in this match. He's going to bring every single person he's ever met in his life to help him finish this story because you know in the back, Rock might be like, you're not fit. He'll say, yeah, yeah, you think you're going to finish this story, boy, but you ain't going to finish this story tonight. It's going to be a hell of a night. You know, you never, you can have a situation that could be a hard way, that could be a stiff match, that could be a real match to see if Cody Rhodes is going to finish the story. We do not essentially know until this match is over. But where Cody is hitting that is that he's putting his life on the line. No crybabies. He beat the crap out of The Rock. The Rock time has come and it's gone. And you're welcome. Take that time to subscribe into the arena. The Don Juan Banks. You know we're in the building. You know we're the best. The band. I don't want to be nobody else. I want to be me. I want to be the best. I am the best. And what I know is that 
going on into the arena channel right now. We got the best videos. We was at Wale. We was at Wale. Look, Cody Rose beat Solo and Jimmy with the belt. Bronson Reed wins the Andre the Giant Memorial. Cody Rose bladed himself. Cody Rose like when we cover him. So he don't care about that. Can the move to the side? Cody Rose bladed himself. What we got? We was at Wale. All the fans were shocked. Don Juan Banks, life is dope at Wale. Mania. WWE, a new era. It's a new era. And Don Juan Banks is ushering it in. And y'all think I'm not the man, but wait till the ratings go up. The love letter. Janelle Grant got banged so hard she wrote a love letter. Cody Rose, Blade Job, we talked about that already. So why they won't let me pull up all the videos? I'm just trying to show y'all. Ronda Rousey, she cursed out John Laurinaitis. Goldberg revealed to be a racist. He still want to kill Bret Hitman Hart. Get over it, you old head. That's old. The Rock called out the entire WWE locker room. The backstage heat, and it's going to be a lot of backstage. Kenny Omega got mad because we told everybody he's out of AEW. He'll never be the champion again. He has diverticulitis, and we hope he get well, but he'll never be there again. Kate Middleton has cancer. She hit it, but Maurice cancer-free, so Kate can learn from Maurice. Oscar Goldberg is a racist, allegedly. Ronda in AEW, allegedly. Triple H is better than Vince McMahon, AJ Styles. Tony Khan deleted Jungle Boy. That's why we're going to do our CM Punk video. Most talent leaving the WWE. But they're securing assets. Once, CM, once Triple H saw that, that, that Daniel Bryan said that, they're securing assets, meaning they're not letting nobody go now. WWE ain't going to let nobody go. So y'all heard that from me. The Rock leaving the WWE to film a movie, but he's going to have a lot of involvement. Pulled Bray Wyatt, but they saving him for next year. They're going to have a big thing for him next year. AEW, Darby Allin, his career is over. He broke his foot doing some stupid move. Booker T lied to get podcast views. Nick Khan, they were saying he was going to be fired because he knew about the rape, but he, he got out of it. Sheamus, AEW. Sheamus will be in AEW. Triple H, he's in it to win it. He's in it to win it. So we ain't going to put up no more Triple H fire. You're in it to win it, Triple H. You're in it to win it. And that's what I like. You got to be. We cover Raw, hitting it Raw. Our views are going so high. Sean Views Entertainment. I have nothing negative to say about you in this video, but if you do watch me, I want to say this. You know Don Juan Banks is coming. I'm coming. And everybody on YouTube knows I'm coming. And I got four investors. They're right here. One, two, three, four. What's going on with you guys? Y'all, y'all loving it? Y'all telling me to wrap it up. Give me how much? 45 seconds. Don Juan Banks is coming like a natural disaster. Like that earthquake that was felt in Philadelphia. Like the tornadoes, the hurricanes, the typhoons, the, the violence on the street. Don Juan Banks is banned. I know I'm the best. That's why you can't find me. But that's the way it's supposed to be. Because I'm not part of the WWE. I'm not trying to be part of the WWE. I'm my own man. And I always will be my own man. And I will come before you. This is no Wendy Williams type thing because I just tell you what's going on and I go about my business. I don't want the fame and I don't want the fortune. What I want is loyalty. Enter the Arena Band is a whole new company. Everything you saw in the past with everybody we work with, which we love, everything that contributed to the company. If you do see me live, anybody that used to work for us, thank you so much. But that's over with. That footage is no longer with Enter the Arena. It's gone. It's banned. It's been taken down. I've taken all the footage down from anyone who ever worked for Enter the Arena. It no longer belongs here. We had to move on. And now it is time for the generational leader of the YWC, the mayor, the monarch, the governor, the dictator, writer, director, producer, entertainer, facilitator, teacher, solicitor, the best 
the realest wrestling back in business, Mr. Pay-Per-View, the multi $100 million man, Mr. Pay-Per-View, Mr. YouTube himself, the generational leader of the YWC, not a smart mark, not a crybaby, not uh, a WWE fanboy, but a person who has degrees, five degrees, a person who has certificates, a person who has journalism and is a content creator for over a decade. With WWE Superstar, I wouldn't want to interview from Don Juan Banks, whose resume goes from the best. I only interview the best when the best wants to be interviewed. So CM Punk, Phil Brooks, if you want a real interview, if you want to get real, you come to Don Juan Banks. And let me tell you, when you come here, uh, Phil Brooks, if you were you were in Philadelphia, any wrestler that wanted to interview with me, I would make sure they felt like home coming over here. But that time might not be now. But let me tell you. It will happen. Peace.